Hey guys, and welcome back to CanCode. Today we are going to do another part on our shooter game. And real quick, if we go to the enemies, you will see that we have quite a bit of code for our enemies right here. So I think we can shorten this by using custom blocks. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to click make a block right here in the my blocks tab. Here we're going to type enemy and then we're going to add an input and this is going to be speed. And then we're going to add another input this is going to be cost and then we're going to add another one and this is going to be enemy stain and now we're going to click ok and now we have this custom block right here and what we're going to do is we're going to grab everything here after the point towards we're going to put that right there inside now we can put this enemy right there in this first one and we can change these parameters to everything we want. So the first one, the normal one, is going to be 5. The second one is going to be 1. And the third one is going to be blue, all lowercase. And now if we go here, we can just put these in. So the speed is going to go right here. The cost is going to go right here. And the enemy stain is going to go right here. And right here. Now that we have that, we are going to do the same for this right here. This is the uh, normal or the fast enemy. So we can just put this to the side for now. And we can put in this enemy here. The uh, first one is the speed, which is 10, I believe. We can check again. Yep, it's 10. The cash we get for it is 2, and it is orange. Okay, now that we've got that. Uh, we can also set the enemy lives at the beginning for this to 1 because we're going to need to do that for this particular one because it does not have enemy lives set to anything. So we'll add that there. And now we can take out this here and add in one of these blocks. Move 3 steps. We'll get 3 cash and it is red. Like that. And we will do the th same thing right here. So, 5, 3, and green. Now we can try this out and see how it works. It should work exactly the same. So it looks like the shooting is working. So now if it touches, that's working. Touch, touch, touch touch that's all working and then the other ones the fast ones should touch the edge and it should work and that did not work and that's because we did not program that into every single one so we need to go to the fast and we need to add an if and we're going to say if touching edge then it needs to die and we actually have some multiple ones um, in here that want to die so we can actually just delete all these really big sections because that's the point of these custom blocks uh, and so we're gonna make another custom block and this is going to be called die and then we're going to add an input and this is going to be enemy stain okay now I'll put this whoops not that but we'll put the whole thing right down here and we will add a die right here and the enemy stain is going to be orange like that and in the die we're going to copy all this right here and put this in and we're going to take out this enemy stain here and going to add this enemy stain and we will now delete this add a die add this enemy stain to that and we will delete this here and then copy this right here and add it right like that now you have shortened this quite a bit and it should work even better than it did before everything will be the same except these guys will when they touch the edge they should die there we go look at that it's looking like it's working perfectly and we can see we have shortened this code a ton it was way 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 longer 
So that is really great. Okay, now that we've got that, we're gonna do something else that's pretty cool. If we go to the backdrop right here, and we go to sounds, I've put a bunch of sounds on here that you can actually get once we get to the progress report, which is really coming up. I think it's after this next video. And you can go to the uh, stage and find all these songs here. You can use them as long as you uh, give me credit in the credit section of your game. But here we've got a coin collect. Got that, health collect. Bullets collect. Purchase is actually pretty loud. But we've got that. Gun. Gun 2. Gun 3. Uh, a wave swish, this will be when the wave comes by, a button swish for the buttons, uh, enemy splat, so I was kind of thinking that when the enemies die, they kind of like splatted like this, so we can just see what that's like, enemy damage when we hit them, they get hit like that, and then I have three songs, I've shortened them so you can make them louder or softer, however much you want, but uh, there are three songs that I've put in, they may not be the best type of songs for this type of game I guess but I really like the songs anyway so uh, I added them because I don't have anything else that would fit this game so let's just see if we can add them into the game so coin collect we first need to make coins for the collectibles I thought we could put coins on the ground for them to pick up so we won't use that just yet but we have a health collect so we can add that to the collectibles that's even possible we got to scroll up to the collectibles I don't know why this is acting very weirdly but there we go I think it's in there now if we go to collectibles we've got our health collect now we can go to the code and find when we actually draw uh, like pick it up so we gotta wait till it's touching the player here for bullets here it is uh, touching the player so as soon as it touches the player we want it to start the sound health collect. Now we also want to uh, bring down another uh, the bullets collect to this collectibles. My goodness, this is you may have this much trouble, or the, uh, Scratch may have fixed the glitch by that by now because this is quite the annoying glitch. All right, we go here and we have bullets collect. So, right up here, right when it touches the player for the bullets, we're going to start the sound, bullets collect. Alright, now we can try that. So, let's just see. Okay, then now we have a gun pack that just came out. So, if we collect it, that is pretty nice. That is a really cool sound. So, let's wait for the potion to come up. Okay, now we have the potion. When I get this, that that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so that seems to work pretty well. So now that we have those two, uh, we let's do the gun. So let's see which one we want. We've got this one, this one, and then this one. I think this is the one I'm going to do just because uh, we're going to be shooting a lot. So I'm going to put this one into the bullet. And when we go to the bullet... We can say when I create a clone of myself, we're gonna start the sound gun. Right there, right when we click. And there we go. Let's just test this out to see if it works. So play. I like that pretty good. Uh, maybe not as loud. Uh, I'll put the volume down and then we'll just kind of like get the right volume. So at 50, is this. You can always change the volume to however much you want it to be, uh, but I'm just going to leave that there for now, I guess. And now, next, we have a wave swish, so I'll put that onto the wave uh, announcer here. Uh, let's see, it's really acting up on me, but see if I can get this done somehow. Okay, now we go back to this. Okay, wave swish. So this is going to happen, I'm thinking, every time when it comes on and then when it comes off. So we'll say uh, it comes on like this. So we'll start the sound here 
and then we'll start it here and we'll do that here too so right like that and right like that right there and there let's see if that's good or not I think I like that yeah I think I think that's pretty good okay now when we press a button we want it to make that button switch which is kind of like a higher um, switch so if we go wait, where is it button switch here we go there it is and it's louder or not really louder it's just higher okay now we'll put this right there into the buttons and now whoops I clicked the button that I did not want to click okay um now we're gonna go here every time we press a button um we will make it start the sound so we'll do that right here and right here and right here all right let's see what that's like so <laughs> that's pretty good all right now let's add a couple more so now we're gonna have this uh, enemy splat which we can add to the enemies just like that and also this enemy damage I'm also gonna add like that okay so now when they die which we now have just one uh, thing that makes them die so we're gonna say start the sound uh, enemy splat right here and I'm going to have enemy uh, enemy damage every time that the enemy lives go down by one so I believe that would be right here so every time that they get hit we'll start to sound enemy damage like that oops that's not what I meant to do and you know maybe I will have it happen after it dies and then that way it will not uh, happen if if it dies if it dies it's not gonna happen so let's try this now okay this is pretty interesting okay I think that's pretty interesting I really like that okay now we just have one more to do and this is the purchase when uh, we purchase something from the shop so we'll add this to shop items and now when we go here we will say when we make a transaction just right here it will start to sound purchase so let's just make this we have to have like uh, negative one so we'll have to have zero to go up buy this so it'll just let us buy this so we'll go to the shop and there we go that works pretty well actually so now we can change this back to 249 start the flag and so that's that looks like it's working do we have any others I do not think we do we have this coin collect uh, maybe in the next video we'll add coins uh, but that's what we have there I think that's it now all we have now are three songs so now how do we add these songs to our game what we can do is we can have a one flag clicked forever and this is in the stage you know uh, we're going to play song whatever we want so sound but we'll make sure to do it until done and then we can do like fade spectre or popsicle any one of these ones that I have uh, like spectre maybe and then we click the flag think I'm gonna have this uh, just because when I'm playing this game for you guys and testing it I don't want to have the music always going but because uh, there's right now there's mu background music going it's actually the fade background music so I don't want to just add to that so we have that uh, but you can keep that if you want to have it anyway I think that's pretty cool we added sounds and we made our code for the enemies a little bit more efficient I think it is pretty cool all right, so that's what we have. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. In the description of this video, there will be a link to this game that we have right here with a little bit extra in it. So you can check that out, and in the stage, there are the sounds that I had in this video. So you can use those as long as you give me credit in the credit section of your game. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.